Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt. And today I want to show you how to use contact in Reason in a different way that I showed you guys how to use it in that last video I made on this. And I really prefer to use it this way. And what this does is it cuts out the software cabling software. You know, you don't need Soundflower or AU Lab or uh, virtual cabling, you know, in Windows or any of those virtual cabling software that can be kind of tough to get working and get them all, you know, get it all set up right and you got to learn it and it just, it can be kind of difficult. And so I've come up with this way and I find it to be extremely easy. It's always set up and it just works. It just works and it doesn't matter if you're in Windows or OS X and all you're going to need is Windows or OS X, Reason, Contact, and two audio devices that have digital I.O. I'm using an M-Audio M-Track Plus and my 11 rack. They both have uh, SPDIF I.O. and that works fine. You could use the uh, AES-EBU if you want. If you have those kind of interfaces, there are just tons of different digital I.O.s out there. Just find two different devices you have to have two and hook them up digitally. And the way it works is Contact will be using my M-Track Plus right here. And Reason's going to be using my 11 rack. And you have to wire it up this way. So I'm going to have Contact going out, out of its digital uh, I.O. into the 11 rack because I want Reason I'm going to be monitoring from Reason with this device. And I'm going to be playing contact out through this device. And then you route the output of Reason's digital I.O. into the input of contact's digital I.O. And what this will do is allow you to run, uh, send Reason out to uh, contact. Or if you have it hooked up, but I'm going to do another video on showing how to use effects. Uh, you could even use the effects in contact too. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the instruments and even show you how to use uh, automation. It's going to be really cool. So this is basically the setup. Just two audio devices with digital I.O. Reason, contact, and it doesn't matter what OS you use. No software cabling needed. Bypass it. Okay, once you have contact and reason open, what you're going to do is just go up to Reason, Preferences, and you're going to select the audio interface that you're using for Reason. I'm using the, the Avid 11 rack. I'm going to set it at 48, and I'm going to set it down to a, a sample buffer size of 128. Just that easy. Done. Then I'm going to go into Contact, and I'm going to select my M Audio device, and that is right there, my M Audio Track Plus. And I'm going to set it at 48, and I'm going to get it down to 128, uh, just like I have it in Reason. There you go. Now, in Reason, I'm going to press F8, and I'm going to make I'm going to make two external MIDI devices. Eh, that, that's all we'll be needing. That's all I'll be needing for this demonstration. And then I'm going to create. I'm going to press press Command or Control T and create create an, a stereo input so I can monitor everything that's coming in from contact. This is going to be my contact right here. I'm going to label it contact, and I'm going to select my digital I/O that's coming in. I know it's coming in on five and six. You're, you would know what yours is on the digital interface you're using. And now I can monitor anything that comes in from contact and I can record it. Simple. So into contact, I'm going to press F1 to show my instruments. And I'm going to bring up a uh, this bass track here. So now I have, I'm going to bring this over here so you can see it. 
So I have this bass track up here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into Reason. I could have done this earlier, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna go down here and, and select Virtual Input. Contact Virtual Input right there, you'll see it. And the MIDI channel here. One instrument, the, the bass is gonna be on MIDI channel one. And my I'm gonna have the piano on channel two. That simple. Let's, uh, let's get Alicia's keys in here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select virtual port one from contact. Then I'm going to go to, uh, so I'm going to go into Alicia's keys here now and I'm going to create a new separate track for it right there. And I'm going to select contact virtual two. So now when I go into reason, so I'm, I'm, this can be my piano. And this is going to be my bass. Now if I select the monitor, I can hear it. Okay, so I can hear that. And if I want to play the piano, you just select the, um, the track that you want to play. Bass. Piano. So now I can easily just go right in here and uh, and let's let, let's record something. I'll show you how easy it is. So I have this bass beat. I'm uh, bass. I'm working on here. So I have my 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 bass in. Now let's add in the piano over that. So now we have two tracks going in contact, two instruments. We're monitoring everything through Reason. We can go into our uh, mixer. That's our contact right there. So now if I wanted to, I can go in here and get myself a, uh, let's get some drums on this. So we can use our, our Reason with contact and let's uh just get a little thing going here get the click on So right there I have Reason working with contact and it's it's you can do it non-stop you can add in stuff while you're you're uh, you know you can you can have this looping and just do be running both these applications at the same time without a hiccup or stopping there's no software cabling at all so now let's go in here and have some fun with automation I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, automate this if you go up here you're always gonna see some some inputs here like volume pan mod wheels all the way through 119 you'll see some of them 
and if I want to, to the pan, these are already preset. They're like general MIDI settings, so they're in there. But the rest of them, you can put anything you want on it. But So say we say pan, just for the heck of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, right here, turn on the CC assign. I'm going to go to 10, right here. What I can do is automate this, create automation. You can see it's 10. And you'll look right up here. You can see it's the CC knob is, is it's on the right, assigned to the right MIDI uh, CC automatically. So if I want, I can go in here and record some automation. We'll cue it to get in the middle. You can see it's panning right left. The the, the base is. Now, if I want, I can go in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to select a number that isn't set. I'm going to select 12. It's not set to anything right now. And I'm going to go up to 12. I'm going to go into contact and select MIDI learn and I'm going to move it. Now this CC knob is moving it and you can see right down here MIDI CC 12 is right there so I can record automation to the, the cutoff here. And so that's that's it. That shows you how easy it is to do automation, and you can go in here and edit your automation all you want, and you're editing contact. And it's that simple to do. And the whole time we're monitoring right and reason, we didn't have to go in and change stuff around. It just works. This is what I love about it. So now, if I want to render these tracks, say I've, I've, I can work with, I could have 20 tracks here going nice and easy, and if you get a bunch of tracks going, you're going to be mixing right here in contact because this is your mixer. This is your stereo output to monitor in reason. When you get to when you get to doing the tracks down, then you would you know put these like at unity so that you get the best possible level as you're recording it to its own track, and then you're going to use the SSL mixer in reason to do the final mixing. So what I would do is I would just, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute the piano because I don't want it coming onto this track. This is just going to be the bass track right here. Now I recorded in the automation. If that's the way you want to do it, you can, or you could bypass the automation and do the panning you know in reason on the wave file it's all up to you you have a lot of options so I can go in here and so now I'm gonna select the contact there. I'm gonna make a new audio, audio track and I'm just gonna drag this down and I'm gonna name it the bass so now I can mute my bass I can now do the piano just get the piano in there so I can go over here, press record, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure my piano's up all the way and record it in, get the highest level I can in there, but not be distorting, of course. Just make it short. And I go down here, create a new track, and I just then bring it down here. Name it piano. And now I can mute the piano. Uh, I got my tracks here. I don't need my MIDI anymore. 
I'm going to start mixing my song and I don't need my contact uh, monitoring track anymore. I just have my I just have my uh, stuff I recorded here. My levels. So that's it. That's how you can use reason and contact together and just open up the whole world of contact and put it into reason. It works really, really simple. There's no cabling software. You know, some cabling software is better for OS X than it is in Windows and vice versa. Some of it costs money. Which one do I use? It's, it's not working. Just get two audio devices, hook them up digitally, and you're ready to go. It works really, really simple. And so that's it. And I hope this helps you guys out. And remember, everything here at LearnReason.com is free. And the only way that you can really help out is to like, share, and subscribe. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. You take care.